Let's talk a little bit about what happened yesterday on Capitol Hill with Attorney General Merrick Garland appearing before the House Judiciary Committee for the very first time since Republicans took control of the House. Democrats asked, obviously, some very lightweight questions, but Republicans did ask hard questions, questions that Merrick Garland, the Attorney General, didn't seem ready or willing to answer. The president this week accused you, not the president himself, his staff, and it was in the Wall Street Journal, and it was leaked out, of mismanaging the Hunter Biden probe. Do you agree? Yes or no? It was in the Wall Street Do Journal article. I'm not saying I'm sorry. That. Do I agree with the Wall Street Journal? Yes. Or? And, what, and that, the information they released that said you botched this probe. Yeah. I think I have uh, uh, dealt with the uh, Hunter Biden investigation in the way I've told this. Mr. Committee. Chairman, I yield my remaining time point. to you. What were we looking at there? All right. A very interesting deflection. Let's talk about this and some other hot topics today. Welcome in host of The Rubin Report, Dave Rubin. Dave, welcome in. Um, yeah, was that the Wall Street Journal? It just really it doesn't really understand. Uh, uh, to watch this theater uh, was frustrating to a lot of folks, obviously, because a lot of people say this DOJ is completely weaponized. But, you know, it is a congressional hearing, so I guess we could only expect so much there when there's so much political partisanship. Yeah, well, you use the right adjective, right? It's theater. That is what this has all become. This has not become sort of a serious inquiry into the Hunter Biden laptop or Merrick Garland's behavior related to several other issues. It's just sort of, oh, we'll ask some questions. He'll pretend he doesn't know exactly what we're talking about. But nothing will ever come of it. I think that that's what so many Americans are frustrated with at the moment. We actually don't expect our politicians or our agencies or the, the administrative state, whatever you want to call it, to be that great. But it sort of seems like we've entered this odd phase where nothing is working. I mean, the segment you guys just did, the great work on the border over there, it's like we care far more, apparently, this government, about the territorial uh, integrity of Ukraine rather than the United States. So Merrick Garland fuddling through answers, it's almost irrelevant in a weird way, because even if he said, you know what, yes, I do agree with the Wall Street Journal's right. assessment. I botched that thing. It's not like anything would happen to him. I mean, Fauci is still out right. there, you know, getting his 400 uh, grand a year retirement money. It's true. I mean, and Mayorkas is still out there, uh, even though it seems like this is his job to protect the border and it is wide open. Um, I do want to talk a little bit about the illegal immigrants that are surging our border and also some of the backlash today, Dave, against Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. There's a, a piece in the Miami Herald. You know, there's a new law in Florida which clearly states if you're bringing in illegals into our state, you will be prosecuted. So full warning here, but they arrested uh, a Mexican illegal who lived in Tampa, apparently working as a roofer here, bringing in undocumented people into Florida. He's charged. And they are actually trying to twist it to say, well, it's DeSantis, who's anti-immigrant. And the attorneys for this man is saying it's basically a complete injustice. The upside down world here that we live in. What's your take on this and how DeSantis will, you know, should he respond to folks calling him anti-immigrant or should he just continue on and continue to prosecute? Is it even worth, at this point, fighting back against these people who just seem so living in an other universe? Yeah, well, look, America may be upside down, but Florida is right side up. We're a state of laws. You, if you are illegally here, you, by definition, are breaking the law. Ron DeSantis has passed tight legislati legislation. We, you know, he has both sides of the House and here in Florida, supermajority. And we are going to do what the federal government refuses to do. So you can have sympathy for any specific person for whatever reason they're here or anything else. And most of us probably know someone who uh, maybe is illegal or was illegal or whatever it might be. Uh, but we are, I, I was about to say we are a nation of laws. We're not a nation of laws anymore. Just look at what you're no. showing me uh, on the no. side of me. We're not a nation of yeah. laws, but Florida is a state of laws. So we're doing exactly what we should be doing. And by the way, this is one of those things where the media will go crazy for it, but I guarantee you DeSantis's approval here in Florida, not that it can go much higher, it will tick up because the average person, uh, it's not they don't that they don't have sympathy for anyone or sympathy for someone trying to get into this country, but we either have, I mean, this is, a, this is an old Donald Trump line, we either have a country or we don't. You either have borders or you don't. So if there are very few exactly, politicians yeah. willing to protect them, then we have to back those politicians. I would put DeSantis at the top of that list. Greg Abbott's trying in Texas, but it's a lot more complex because he's actually, you know, dealing with a, an on-the-ground border. Yeah. 
Finally, last question. You know, you look very well dressed today. You're always put together, Dave. You know, sort of a GQ kind of guy here. Fetterman uh, oh, made his you. first vote uh, with a very casual look in his hoodie. And some people are saying, well, who cares? Who cares that they changed the Senate, you know, clothing rules? And that I actually heard on a, a like CNN or a left wing, I think it might have been MSNBC last night, talking about how, well, when you make people wear certain things, like in school, we had uniforms, that it was conforming. I'm saying no. I'm still thinking, even if it's not a significant issue, like as much as the border. This is the slobbing down of American. Can we, America, can we get back to like when people cared about what they look like and just sort of put themselves together? Look at this. Yeah, Bianca, I'm so with you on this. This is not a trivial issue. This would be the easy one that you've given me here to make jokes about. But actually, this, this thing that we have going on in this country where everything will be whittled down to the lowest common denominator, there will be no standards, there will be no norms. You know, the bizarrest thing that Chuck Schumer did when they changed this rule is that the senators now have no dress code. So this guy can wander in with his, mm. you know, old hoodie and, and shorts, and that's fine. But if you, a citizen, want to go to the Senate, go to the House and watch a hearing or wander in, it is the people's house, you still have to dress appropriately in business attire. But oh, the but people who are supposedly working for us, uh, they can dress like him. It's really embarrassing, and it's one of those things. You know what? The Republicans were smart, and they're not. Every Republican uh, would start dressing <laughs> even more sort of presentably, put on a better suit, get a better haircut, really show in a very obviously hey. visual way what the difference is between the Republicans and the Democrats. Hey, we got a possible government shutdown. They're working Friday and Saturday. Maybe pull out pull out the tux or something. Really make an event out of it, a spectacle there. Maybe a red carpet, Dave Rubin. By we'll the way, see Bianca, if they take the hair that looks spectacular advice. today. Thank you. There's there's a team. This is not me. Trust me, my friend. <laughs> this is the professionals. We it leave it to them. It takes a team. It takes a take team. Take good care, Dave. Bye-bye. <laughs> it does with this with this stuff. Thank you.